Hi guys, it's Simon from Techno Life Video, and another video in my series of WWDC videos. I shouldn't look down when I'm talking to you, sorry about that. But basically I'm doing a series of videos. I've got some cheat, cheat sheet notes here. I'm waving them around so you can't pause it and read them. It doesn't matter, you can be able to read them anyway. My handwriting is so appallingly bad. Um, but basically I've done some other videos talking about the watch OS and Mac OS, the replacement for OS X, and this is iOS for your, uh, for your iPhone uh, and uh, what's the other thing called? An iPad. Um, so let's get stuck into it. Oh, lots of stuff here, lots of stuff, um, heaps of stuff. Now the first one I will mention is my partner is German. Um, uh, I was going to say German Australian, but she's German. Uh, she's lived in Australia for 15 years, so I guess German Australian. Um, she types in German on her phone, so I can never re read over her shoulder. Um, uh, she's always getting messages and it's all goobly gook to me, um, but basically she types in German and she types in English, and at the moment she has to switch keyboards to do that. With the new iOS, you don't have to switch keyboards. Now, I don't know exactly how it works in terms of, I assume what you do is you say to, uh, say to uh, I was gonna say say to Siri, but say to the system, I'm gonna type in English and German, and so it knows. And that way it keeps an eye out for words that you might be typing. But what that does mean um, is that she can easily switch between the two languages. Uh, excuse me, and it won't spell check or um, think you're typing in the wrong language. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'll do another video on that um, once I get some feedback down the track, once it kind of comes out and she starts using it. Um, I'll do a, certainly do a video about that. Developers have give, been given a lot more access to iOS. So there's a real shift to making it look a little bit more like Android. Or at least that's what Android people will tell you. And it probably is true to a degree, but when Android is completely based on iOS, um, then there's nothing really to complain about, let's face it. Um, um, so yeah, there's a lot of um, uh, move towards opening it up more. Um, so the, the thing you're gonna notice most is the swipe to unlock is gone. Basically it's touch ID now, press unlock. Um, so I guess that means it won't work on any product so old that it doesn't have a touch ID. It doesn't work on my iPad, I mentioned in my previous video about Mac OS. It doesn't work on my Mac, a 2008 Mac Pro, and it doesn't work on my iPad, which is a iPad 2 or 3, the first one with a retina display, which is a little bit disappointing for me. But when you haven't got swipe to unlock, I'm not sure what happens. I assume if you press the home button, it brings up uh, enter your code. Um, but I'm not 100% sure about the functionality of that. But basically, you swipe uh, from the right to left, you get your camera. If you swipe from left to right, you get your widgets. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, very big change there. Um, uh, and I think, look, probably a change for the better. Um, it's hard to really know at this stage um, without having a chance to play at it, but the developer access is certainly a big improvement. And um, that's going to be things like on your home screen, when your phone rings, you get the person's picture and you get the number and so forth. Now, other apps, WhatsApp, uh, I imagine Skype, you know, all those apps are gonna be able to ring on your home screen like a phone call would. Um, so that's greater access. Um, even the the access to, to um, the internals of, of iMessage has been opened up. Um, iMessage has just gone ballistic. They've spent a lot of time. And the reason why they did this is that what they noticed was that no matter what they did at, um, at WWDC, is the thing that people were most interested about um, was uh, emojis. So basically now in Messenger, you're gonna be able to do big text, small text. You're gonna be able to do photos that you have to rub them to make them appear. You're gonna be able to stick stickers on top of photographs, um, backgrounds, all sorts of stuff. Um, really, really kind of cool stuff for people who are into messaging, which is pretty much everybody. Um, Suri, um, Suri is gonna be able to do things like open apps because developers are gonna have access to it. It's gonna be able to do a lot more than it does at the moment. In Maps, I'm not gonna fly through some of this stuff. In Maps, you're gonna be able to use apps in Maps. So you're gonna be able to uh, book an Uber and book hotel, uh, book um, restaurant reservations and things like that. Um, in Maps, along your path, if you, if you set directions to somewhere and there's a petrol station along your path, you're gonna say, well, if I go to that petrol station, how is it gonna change my traveling time? Um, 
the home app for home automation is now an actual app so um, controlling all your home automation stuff there's an, there's an app for that um, uh, the music app has been completely redesigned so the first thing you see now is your music not Apple music which is just was just a pain in the ass um, raise to wake oh my god pick your phone up locks un unlocks um, straight away um, unlock straight away or, or launch it straight away well I've got an Apple watch on so uh, I have to confirm that now that I think about it uh, 3d touches have big improvements you touch on the app and you get a little widget that opens up and then some options so there's a, a, a big thing there and obviously I assume that's going to be up to developers maybe to implement that widget opening I'm not hundred percent sure on that one but big enhancements there um, Interactive notifications, so when a notification comes on the top of the screen, you're going to be able to have a whole conversation, paste in photographs, do all sorts of stuff, not just type a single line of text. Photo presentations, they take all your old photographs and make them into a lovely presentation. Um, and unlimited tabs in Safari um, is another one as well. Uh, TVOS, um, there's been some changes there. If you install an app on your phone, the same app will install on Apple TV, which is awesome if you use the app across those two platforms. So there's been subtle uh, changes to Apple TV, um, but um, basically iOS has been massively, massively changed. Um, it's it's going to be interesting to see. One thing will, in terms of the Apple TV is you can use your iPhone now as an Apple uh, remote for the new Apple TV. It's got a very similar look. Um, you can swipe around, you can type, all those things, which is going to make Apple TV even more user friendly. So that's a quick wrap. There's heaps more. I'll do more in, in future videos. I'm Simon from Tech My Life Video. Comment, subscribe, uh, rate, uh, like the video. I should say. I love to hear your comments. Any thoughts you have on iOS? I'm Simon. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.